I'm Marilyn Dumont. I'm a poet. I've been writing for probably about 30 years. The collection that uh, the poem Otapemsawak comes from is uh, The Pemmican Eaters. The collection opens with basically a poem t uh, kind of uh, as an elegy for Louis Riel, Otapemsawak, the people who own themselves or the free people. When I thought about Louis, I thought, you know, in order for anyone to kind of capture him, you really have to try to capture that he was a visionary. And so what kind of language can I use? And, you know, in the process of writing, I, I never know where I'm going to end up. But I started with maybe Poundmaker or even Big Bear would have dreamt those waking figures, Gatling on sorrows. So it all became very sort of dreamlike, which just really fit about who he is and what he envisioned. Because, I mean, visionaries basically have to go beyond the social construction of what we think can happen in the world. This whole connection to the river in, in Edmonton, it's seen now as this place of beauty, but I think it was a much more profound connection people had to the river because um, it was life-giving. It was the way that we could transport our goods for trade, for livelihood. And, um, and I think also the spiritual aspect of the river has been forgotten. So it's, it's wonderful that Nihirak is focusing on the, on the river.